All right, first grade family, here is the book that I wanted to share with you. Again, it's gonna take me two days to read the entire book because it's long, but it is one of my absolute favorite books. Thank you, Santa, written by Margaret Wilde and illustrated by Carrie Argent. January. Dear Santa, thank you for all the presents, especially the knitting needles and balls of wool. They are just what I need because I am sick in bed with a cold. I'm not bored because I'm knitting lots of squares. My mom showed me how to cast on and how to do plain and pearl stitches. Tomorrow I'm going to knit a square with different colors in it. Love, Samantha. P.S. I hope you had a good Christmas too. PPS, can you knit? PPPS, how are the reindeer? February, dear Samantha, thank you for your lovely letter. Hundreds of thousands of children write to me before Christmas but I don't hear from many of them after Christmas. Sorry to hear that you are not well. Our littlest reindeer is ill too. He has a runny nose and a bad cough. Mrs. Claus and I are taking turns keeping him company all night. Love, Santa. P.S. We had an excellent Christmas. A snowy owl visited us on Christmas Day. P.P.S. No, I can't knit. My mom never taught me, and Mrs. Claus has forgotten how. Isn't that a pity? March. Dear Santa, I hope the littlest reindeer is much, much better. I've sewn the squares into a jumper for him. Perhaps it will keep his chest warm. I hope it fits. On Sunday at the zoo, on Sunday, we went to the zoo. I couldn't see a snowy owl anywhere. I said hello to the polar bear, but he just lay there with his eyes shut. I think he's very unhappy. Dad says our weather is too hot for polar bears. When I got home, I put on three jumpers and a hat and scarves and gloves, and I lay in the middle of the sun for an hour. Now I know what it must feel like to be a polar bear in Australia. Love, Samantha. P.P.S. What do snowy owls look like? P.P.S. What other animals are there in the North Pole? P.P.P.S. Perhaps I should teach you how to knit. April. Dear Samantha, the jumper fits perfectly. Here is a special thank you from the littlest reindeer. There's his hoof print. He is quite all right now, thank goodness, but I don't think we'll let him pull the sleigh again next Christmas. He catches cold so easily. I haven't told him yet because I know he will be very disappointed. There are lots of animals here in the North Pole. Mrs. Claw and I, Mrs. Claus and I often watch them and she does drawings of them. One of our favorites is the Arctic Fox. In the winter, in winter it's long. Thick fur is pure white. It has furry feet and a bushy tail that keeps it warm at night. Love Santa. PS, I almost forgot snowy owls have white and brown feathers. The baby owls are white and fluffy. How is your hot polar bear? I would love to learn to knit, is the PPPS. Dear May, dear Santa, I loved hearing about the Arctic fox. I wish I had a bushy tail to keep me warm in the winter. I visited the polar bear again today It's late autumn here, so he is no longer hot. 
He stared at me without making a sound. I'm sure he's worrying about next summer. I wish there was something I could do to keep him cool. Love, Samantha. P.S. What do polar bears eat? P.P.S. The littlest reindeer is going to feel very left out. P.P.P.S. I'm busy writing a book for you. It will be called How to Knit Easy Peasy Instructions for People Who Know Nothing About Knitting. June. Today we saw something wonderful. A polar bear taking her cubs out into the snow. They tumbled about and rolled roly-poly down the slopes. One of the cubs was very adventurous and went exploring on its own, but the other one kept close to the mother bear. Mrs. Claus did some terrific drawings of them. We pinned them up all over the house, so now we have bears everywhere. Love, Santa. P.S. Polar bears eat meat, usually seals. Sometimes a bear will wait for hours near a hole in the ice, hoping to catch a seal. P.P.S. I know you're right about the littlest reindeer. He will feel left out, but he's still not strong, and we were very worried last time when he was so ill. P.P.P.S. I'm looking forward one day to receiving your book on how to knit. June is halfway through um, our 12 month year. So I am going to stop here for today and I will pick up on July and finish the book for our read aloud tomorrow.